In 2012, the discovery of the Higgs boson provided physicists and researchers with two profound realizations at once. On the one hand, there was the jubilant triumph of finally detecting the last missing piece of the standard model, a cornerstone of modern particle physics. On the other hand, it brought a sobering recognition, despite this milestone, the standard model itself is fundamentally incomplete. Ironically, the so-called God particle, which had long been the most elusive element in the subatomic world, also came with a perplexing issue, the hierarchy problem. This refers to the troubling fact that the mass of the Higgs boson is inexplicably small compared to theoretical expectations, particularly those derived from quantum mechanics. In fact, it is about 100 billion times smaller than anticipated. This vast discrepancy has puzzled experts for years and indicates that there may be something far deeper and more mysterious lurking beneath the familiar layers of particle physics. One of the most widely discussed solutions to this puzzle is the theory of supersymmetry. According to this concept, every known particle in the standard model has a heavier, superpartner, a mirror-like counterpart. If such particles exist, they could provide a mechanism for stabilizing the mass of the Higgs boson and thus solving the hierarchy problem. However, in practical terms, none of these predicted particles have ever been observed at the Large Hadron Collider, LHC, the world's most powerful particle accelerator. This absence of experimental evidence has cast doubt on supersymmetry, despite its theoretical elegance. Nevertheless, the Higgs boson remains the most famous elementary particle of all time. But what exactly is it, and why is its detection at CERN's LHC regarded as one of the greatest achievements in the history of physics? To understand this, we first need to revisit a fundamental concept, the nature of mass itself. Without mass, the universe would be utterly unrecognizable. Atoms wouldn't exist, and with them, neither would stars, planets, or any form of matter as we know it. It is the mass of the elementary particles, the very building blocks of matter, that allows them to clump together and interact. And yet, for decades, physicists had no clear answer to one of the most essential questions in science, where does mass actually come from? The standard model, while incredibly successful in explaining the behavior of known particles and forces, fell short of addressing this mystery. In particular, bosons, the particles that mediate the fundamental forces, were a challenge. According to early versions of quantum field theory, these bosons should have no mass at all. This makes sense for some particles, photons, which mediate the electromagnetic force, and gluons, which mediate the strong force, are indeed massless and can travel at the speed of light. However, this masslessness cannot explain the properties of the weak force, which governs radioactive decay and involves W and Z bosons, particles that do have mass. The presence of mass in these bosons should not be possible within the traditional framework of the standard model. This paradox stood for decades until the groundbreaking theoretical work of physicists like Robert Brout, Francois Englert, and Peter Higgs in the 1960s. They proposed a revolutionary idea, an invisible, omnipresent field permeates the entire universe, the Higgs field. This scalar field, they theorized, interacts with certain elementary particles, endowing them with mass. Particles that interact strongly with the Higgs field acquire more mass, while those that interact weakly remain nearly massless. In simple terms, as particles travel through this field, they encounter resistance, much like a person moving through a crowd, and this resistance manifests as mass. But why don't all particles acquire mass through this process? The answer lies in the asymmetric nature of the Higgs field. It does not couple equally to all particles. It is neutral with respect to electromagnetism and the strong nuclear force, which is why photons and gluons are unaffected and remain massless. However, it does interact with W and Z bosons, granting them mass and thus limiting the range of the weak force. This understanding neatly ties together previously unexplained aspects of particle physics. Now, proving the existence of the Higgs field indirectly required the discovery of a corresponding particle, the Higgs boson. Much like how a photon is the quantum of the electromagnetic field, the Higgs boson is a quantum manifestation of the Higgs field. Yet, finding this particle was no easy task. Predictions suggested that the Higgs boson would be electrically neutral, 
have no spin, and carry mass, but the exact mass was unknown. Without knowing its mass, scientists couldn't pinpoint the exact energy levels at which to create it in particle collisions. This created an enormous range to search, anywhere between 18 mega electron volts to 800 giga electron volts. By the time the LHC became operational in 2008, earlier experiments had narrowed this range slightly, suggesting the Higgs boson must be heavier than 114 GeV. The LHC, with its unprecedented collision energies, was humanity's best hope for finding the elusive particle. Still, the odds were steep, the Higgs boson would be produced in only about one in a billion proton-proton collisions and would decay almost instantly, within less than a quadrillionth of a second. This meant scientists couldn't observe it directly. Instead, they had to analyze the byproducts of its decay, such as photon pairs, muons, and Z bosons. These decay products are not unique to the Higgs boson, complicating matters further since they also appear in countless other processes. To solve this, researchers turned to statistical methods. By comparing expected decay signatures from known processes to actual collision data, they could look for anomalies, unexpected, bumps, in the distribution curves of mass and energy. It was one of these subtle anomalies, a small hump in the data, that made headlines around the world on July 4, 2012. Two major experiments at the LHC, ATLAS and CMS, independently reported a signal corresponding to a new particle with a mass of approximately 125 GeV. This was the Higgs boson, the missing piece of the standard model puzzle. The scientific community celebrated the find as a momentous achievement, comparing it to the discovery of a new continent in the world of physics. However, the journey didn't end there. Despite this monumental breakthrough, the Higgs boson's properties continue to raise troubling questions. Chief among them is the hierarchy problem mentioned earlier. Quantum mechanics suggests that the Higgs boson should be influenced by interactions with all known particles, causing its mass to skyrocket to values near the Planck scale, 13 orders of magnitude greater than what was actually observed. The fact that it remains as light as it is implies either a staggering coincidence or the existence of some unknown mechanism balancing it out. Supersymmetry, or SUSY, offered one such mechanism. If every known particle had a heavier superpartner, their interactions could neatly cancel out the quantum fluctuations that would otherwise destabilize the Higgs boson's mass. SUSY also predicted the existence of multiple Higgs particles, including heavier and fermionic varieties, which would help account for the observed values. Prior to the LHC's launch, many physicists expected a cascade of discoveries involving these SUSY particles. Yet, none have appeared so far, leading some to question the viability of the theory altogether. With supersymmetry on shaky ground, alternative explanations have gained attention. One such idea is the existence of a hidden sector. This would be a family of particles that interact among themselves but are completely unaffected by the strong, electromagnetic, and weak forces. These particles could interact indirectly with the Higgs boson, influencing its properties while remaining invisible to current detectors. Some theorists suggest that the standard model particles pull the Higgs boson's mass upward, while hidden sector particles exert a downward influence, leading to a finely tuned balance. In this framework, the Higgs boson could even transition into a different, exotic state, a twin particle in the hidden sector. Detecting such hidden sector particles would be a monumental challenge. Since they don't interact with ordinary matter, they leave no direct trace in conventional experiments. However, subtle deviations in expected decay channels or missing energy signatures might eventually point toward their existence. Whether this path leads to a deeper understanding of reality or opens up an entirely new domain of physics is still unknown. And yet, despite these daunting challenges, physicists remain undeterred. After all, it took nearly 50 years to go from the theoretical proposal of the Higgs boson to its actual detection. If history has taught us anything, it's that the universe still holds many secrets waiting to be revealed. Thanks for watching Space Lab, Unlocking the Cosmos, One Mystery at a Time.